Hartlepool chairman Harold Hornsey today described potential changes to the football transfer market both unfair and potentially disastrous for smaller clubs. Under a European ruling, it's proposed the transfer market should be abolished and clubs should no longer be allowed to treat players as commodities. Jim Knight reports. Stephen Halliday is Hartlepool's biggest potential asset. He's not only been delighting the crowds at Victoria Park, he's also attracted offers from some of the biggest clubs in the country, including Sheffield Wednesday, Celtic and Premier League champions Blackburn. He's already valued at around half a million pounds, but though Hartlepool have raised his value so dramatically, under the proposed European law, they would get nothing for their efforts. But he would be able to command a huge salary. Oh, that'd be great for me, but then again, it's the, it's the club. They've, they've, they've helped me out a lot. Um, I've made a lot of league appearances, and maybe that's down to because I haven't got much money. So if I walk away from the club then, and they get nothing for it, then I'll be disappointed because they deserve something. A club like that's how the clubs like this is. Hey, they're just going to fade away if, they, if the transfer fees is not brought in. Hartlepool's chairman says abolishing the transfer market will make youth development a thing of the past. Well, it would mean that um, the years of hard work that we spent bringing Stephen along, um, development skills, will have cost us the money, no one else. Uh, so basically, um, that must be unfair. The clubs in the Premier League seem confident they can withstand the kind of changes proposed by Europe. For the smaller clubs, like Hartlepool, the developments in Luxembourg are potentially disastrous.